Hi there, my name is Camilla Campuzano. I'm the community manager of Nido Marketing in Montessori Thrive, and I make videos to help Montessori leaders find support and market and grow their schools. This week, I'm gonna be talking about email lists. Now, email lists are a really important part of digital marketing, especially if you're gonna be using email marketing as a strategy, which I absolutely recommend that you use email campaigns as your overall Montessori marketing strategy. Now, if you haven't watched our previous videos on um, email nurtures, uh, and lead magnets, I highly recommend you watch those as well. I've linked them in the description below as I will be referencing um, both lead magnets and email nurtures in this video. But today I'm just gonna be focusing on the email list and how you can build it and how you can effectively use it to market and grow your school. So let's get started. All right, so email marketing should absolutely be a fundamental component of your overall digital marketing strategy. Every business pretty much nowadays uses email marketing. And the reason why is because it's effective. It's been proven time and time again that it could be really helpful, especially in the Montessori space where you're trying to establish yourself as a thought leader and you want to build connections and bonds with parents. Now, an email list is going to be a fundamental part of running email campaigns. So building one is extremely important. Let's dive into what an email list is. So it's pretty much exactly what it sounds like. It's a list of your prospective parents who are interested in your school. The way that you gather this contact information assures you that they're interested because they would have given that information, maybe requesting a tuition um, information packet, a, a tour of your school, information about your programs, et cetera. Great ways to collect contact information is through lead magnets. I highly recommend you watch that video if you haven't already, where we dive into our five favorite lead magnets for Montessori schools. I've linked that in the description, so check that out if uh, you want to learn ways to grow your email list. But basically, it's a list that your school will own of parents who you know for a fact have shown interest in your school. Incredibly valuable resource for your digital marketing. The reason why it's so effective is because when you send an email, it's so much more personal than when a parent runs across a digital ad or sees a social media post because it's exclusively tailored to them. It's a little bit more direct and it gives you the opportunity to sell yourself in a different way that's just more personal and informative. And you know that the receiver on the other end is already interested in what you might be selling. So again, it's an incredibly valuable asset to your overall digital marketing strategy. So we know that an email list is incredibly valuable to your marketing strategy. We know that it connects with busy parents, it establishes your school as a thought leader, and it delivers valuable information to parents who are interested in your school. So now let's talk about how you can build your list and use it as effectively as possible, because this is gonna really send your email marketing campaign over the top and help you grow your enrollment, which is ultimately your goal as a digital marketer in the Montessori space. So first and foremost, you need to establish where you're going to keep this list. Uh, now, some schools may opt to do it manually and use a spreadsheet. Of course, this means that you're going to have to be entering that um, individually. You're going to have to figure out a system of organization that works uh, and you're going to have to input it yourself. You can also use a CRM if you want it kind of a little bit more automated and easy to navigate. This will save you time, but either way is a viable option. If you're looking for a CRM to help you with email marketing, I recommend Nino Marketing's Montessori uh, CRM, which is specifically tailored to the needs of a Montessori school. And um, it's just a great tool for things like this, especially running email campaigns. But ultimately, you really want to make sure that your list is very organized. What this does is it prevents any, you know, double emails being sent, any irrelevant emails being sent to the wrong parents. It helps you organize what emails to send to who. It would be quite unprofessional if a parent requested tuition information and instead you sent them information about um, your primary classroom, which is not what they requested. <laughs> so make sure that you organize this accordingly and you know what parents are interested in and how to, how to email them accordingly. This is key to having a good email list. Um, so highly recommend you know looking into a plan of organization that's going to work for your school and that's doable for you. Um, highly important. You want to make sure this list is categorized. Now you can decide on the categories that work for you. You can have a list of current families who uh, your goal with the email marketing there is retention. You want to inform them on why it's so important to stay in Montessori, why they should stay in the third year. You could also have a category for prospective parents in the toddler program, prospective parents of the primary program. And then you can have categories um, within that that you maybe send specific 
emails to as well, but you wanna make sure your list is well categorized, updated, um, and very well organized. This is key to having a great email list. All right, so we've talked about all the reasons why you definitely want to be including an email list as part of your marketing strategy. We know why it's just such a valuable resource. Now I'm going to cover how you can grow this list so that you can ultimately grow, grow your enrollment as well. So here uh, on the screen, you see our general inquiry form. Now, this is something that we love to grow your email list. You have it on your school website. Here we have it under um, contacts on our navigation bar. So if a person were to click on our contacts on our website, they would be brought here. And it's basically a form where you're going to collect that important email information. You can see here we have a form for parents to fill out. It asks, if you would like to learn more about our Montessori school, please complete this form. We look forward to hearing from you. It asks them their, their first and last name, their phone number, email, what programs they're interested in, and um, if they have any questions or comments. This way, uh, you know exactly what they're interested in. And you know if they have a specific question, you can answer it right away, and it could be a really personal first introduction. And this is just a great and effective way so that uh, parents can basically communicate, hey, we want to hear from you. We want to learn more about your offerings. And you, on the other hand, know that that parent is interested. Now, they can also email you directly. This is um, other information you should include on your contact page, which is your phone number, your email, and your address on the map. Um, but I just love the idea of having a general inquiry form to keep those um, contacts coming in and so that you can grow a healthy email list. All right, so another great way to grow your email list and collect that important contact information is to use a form for a schedule a tour where you collect that, um, that data. So here you'll see on one of our Nido sample websites, front and center on our homepage, we always like to put a button to schedule a tour. This is ultimately the best tool for your marketing because we know for a fact that once parents step in for a tour and they see Montessori in action, they are just sold and converted as, as Montessori parents. It's very important. So to get that information in there, you create a form where um, they're gonna select and pick um, a time and then it's going to bring them to a form where they send, um, they can put in their contact information, such as their email and their phone number. That way you can send um, follow-ups, check-ins, and just confirmation that this tour has indeed been scheduled. If you don't already have this on your website, you're missing out on very valuable leads. Um, and it's just a great way to follow up and check up with parents because they need handholding, they need nurturing through that process. We know that um, the decision making that goes into what school their child is going to end up is a stressful decision for parents to make. So the fact that you now have captured their content information and you can say, hey, just a reminder, you have a tour with us tomorrow at this time. Do you have any questions before then? We're happy to send over any resources to help you out. After they come in for a tour, you can send them a thank you email. We really appreciate your time. We hope that you enjoyed our tour with us. If you have any follow-up questions, we're happy to answer them. Uh, if you want to learn about our enrollment process, please ask us. And then if you don't reply to that, you can send them another follow-up email, et cetera, et cetera. So this is a great way to um, build your email list. What's great is you can categorize them as um, contacts who have scheduled a tour. You can, of course, update this category as they move along that admissions pipeline, but it's a great way to capture that um, information initially. All right, so we made an entire separate video on this as well, which we called our five favorite lead magnets from Montessori School. But another way to grow your email list in a really effective way on your school website is to have uh, and use lead generators. Now, what is a lead generator? It's basically going to be something of value to families that they want enough that they're willing to exchange for their email information. So you see an example of it here on our Nido site. Um, you have at the bottom of our homepage here, Montessori or conventional, what's right for your family? Read our white paper. It asks for the first name and email, and then it has the button here to send me the white paper. Now, the key to having a good lead generator is it has to have automations. Imagine you fill this out as a parent, you immediately go check your email to see if you have the white paper and it's not there because someone on the other end has to wait for that email to come through, check it, manually send out the white paper. It looks unprofessional and the parent has already lost interest. They're on to the next. So you have to have automations here. This is where CRM really is going to help you so that uh, whenever a parent hands over this, it triggers an automation. The parent is going to get the white paper immediately. They're going to read through it and it's going to help them make a difficult decision as to whether Montessori is right for their family. 
again, this establishes you as a thought leader, it offers value, and it makes parents feel more connected. And it also gives you that important contact information so that you can follow up. You can say, oh, I see that you were interested in, um, in our white paper about uh, Montessori versus conventional learning. We'd love to invite you for a tour so that you can see what Montessori looks like in action. Here's our tour schedule if you're interested in uh, coming in for a visit. So you can see here, it can be a really seamless and personal process if email marketing is done right. So yep, another great way to grow your email list. All right, I'm going to share my two other favorite forms of collecting this important information so you can grow your email list. Number one is to simply have a great blog. There are so many reasons why you should be having a great blog, but if you have a really informative and helpful parenting blog, you can ask parents to subscribe to uh, an email list so they can receive a notification every time you publish a new blog. This works with as well if you have podcasts or anything of that nature that helps parents. Uh, just parent at their in their own homes. Now, this is going to keep them interested in Montessori. It may make you a thought leader to them, and it may make them interested in um, being a part of your school in the future when their child is ready. So a great option that, of course, doesn't really cost you money. It might take you a little bit of time to come up with great blog content, but once you do, you can recycle that blog. Um, you can repurpose things, and just having a regular and well-written blog is an extremely valuable asset for many, many reasons. I can go on for days about this. Um, another great way to collect important email information as well is just to do so in in-person open house events or any type of school event, such as fundraisers, things like that. Um, you can ask parents to write down their email on the list if they're interested in receiving information about your school, any updates about events or um, visits or tours, et cetera. Just a way to do it manually. It never hurts and it's Pretty easy to do if you're running in-person events. Just print out um, a form, put it on a clipboard, and ask parents if they'd like to receive any um, additional information about your school. So you have just some final ways to uh, grow your email list. If anyone has any additional ideas as well, feel free to drop them in the comments below. We're always looking for innovative ways to grow your email list because it really, truly is such an important and valuable asset when it comes to digital marketing. All right, so we've talked about how to grow your email list. Now let's talk about how to put it to work and how to make it work for you so that you can grow your enrollment because ultimately that's why you're putting all this effort into um, growing an email list. So first and foremost, it never hurts to send a regular newsletter. I know most schools already do this. You can do this monthly or weekly, whatever works for your schedule. Um, always make sure to include links back to your website so that for prospective parents, they can revisit your website where they can, of course, schedule a tour, come in for a visit, send in an application, et cetera. So you always want to make sure you have a little call to action in that newsletter for parents who are prospective parents. Uh, you can also notify parents about special events using the email list. So if you have an upcoming fundraiser, an open house, um, some type of parenting night, things like that, all of these um, important things to, to put your email list to work. Uh, you can also notify parents about upcoming deadlines. If you're getting close to starting a wait list, put that pressure on parents to send in the application. You know, hey, we only have a few spots left in our program for next year. Now's the time to send in your application great to use your email list for this. You can also educate parents with a series of emails. We call this an email nurture. We have a great video about this as well. Email nurtures are so effective in the Montessori space because you need to really educate families about the unique values of Montessori. They may already be used to what is a traditional schooling, but they may not know what authentic Montessori programs can look like and how they can offer these unique, unique benefits to their child. So coming up with an email nurture is great. We have various email nurture templates available on our membership resource website, Montessori Thrive. The link to that is also in the description below. I recommend um, looking through our email templates. They're very uh, simple to edit. You just add in your personal school information and they're pretty much ready to use. You can use email nurtures for various purposes, whether it's getting parents to enroll or retention. You know, we know that we lose parents that third year, um, like the kindergarten year, et cetera. So you can use it for that as well. Email nurtures are extremely, extremely valuable. So yeah, use it for education. Use it to notify parents. Use it to pressure parents in a gentle way, of course, uh, letting them know you have deadlines coming up. Now, we know all of this may seem overwhelming. As a school leader, you have so much on your plate. 
we are here to help. We have resources for email marketing on our uh, membership website, which I just mentioned. Um, if you don't want to, you know, put these emails together from scratch, we have a CRM that can help you organize your list, make sure automations do the work for you so you can focus on your many other tasks. Um, and if you want to talk to a marketing expert today to kind of learn more one on one, what solutions could work for your school, I highly recommend scheduling a free consultation call. It's no strings attached. We will just give you our advice and help. And um, you can ask us any questions that you would like about developing a digital marketing strategy that'll help you grow your enrollment. I hope you found this video helpful. I'll be back next week with another Montessori marketing video. Until then, have a fantastic week.